Welcome to VEC Trading Strategies. Now, today, I promise you guys that as from this week, I'll be dropping free trading course, okay, for you guys. So, I just want to tell you guys that if you've not joined my... V- now, today, I'll be showing you how to identify support and resistance and how to use them wisely, okay? So, before we start the video, if you want to have, if you've not joined my free group, okay? This today we've been making some little cash okay we're making some cash in the free group I, i'll give analysis okay you can see before and after i give analysis and stuff like that so and also in vip we i give signals too okay different signal we come out in profit at least our profits must be higher than our loss okay so let's i know that this is just a free course okay if you want to if you need mentorship okay you just inbox me message me or all my details will be given description so just message me this free course is just to guide you in your trading i'm not revealing secrets or how pro traders trade is mentorship i reveal secret this free course is just to guide newbies okay how to read the chart and stuff like that so let's head on to the video okay guys so i don't want to make this video long i just want to show you guys that okay now the first rule okay what people do is that you just find maybe two touches and they'll call this a resistance or support level okay i want to show you how to identify key and support level okay so before we head on to the video, all these weeks, all this, you know, these are candles. What people ask me is that, do we also consider the weeks of candles, okay? The weeks, when I just find maybe key zone, do you also consider the weeks? I don't tell you that, well, for weeks, we we'll consider it because in lower time frame, we'll, in lower time frame, we will see that these weeks, they are really candlesticks, okay? These weeks, they are just noise on higher time frame so i just want to tell you guys that you want to now another thing to take note of that is that support and resistance they are not just level they are zones okay so and that's the second thing the third thing is that if you see two or three touches okay on a zone we identify that support and resistance now see touch one okay let me just put i've seen a zone already let me just keep this as a zone let me feel it. I'm coming. Okay, so this is zone. You see one, two, three, three to- in fact many touches. You see that this thing is a pure zone. At the second, you will see that this is a zone. So you just put it's not that you just put line. Okay, when you don't put a single line, you'll be mistaken like how come or to touch my line. What you take note is that support and resistance, they are not just line, they are zone, okay. That's why they call them supply and demand zone, okay? They are zone. So, this is our zone. This this time is a resistance. So, if you notice that, when you just identify it, okay? The mistake you guys do is that you just put it here, okay? Let's just say one, two, three, three touches, okay? You see price get to the zone. And you take a sale, okay? When you take a sale, you put stop loss above the zone. So is either it is your stop loss or it respects the zone, okay? You can see price respect the zone here, okay? It's valid. What you now do, what people now do is that they will erase this resistance. No, okay? Don't erase it. Leave it like that. Just keep shifting it, okay? Sorry, keep shift. Oh, let me delete this. Keep shifting it, shifting it, okay? As price move, shift it. Because here, we can't see... Here we can see a clean zone here, okay? We can't see a clean zone here. So you keep shifting. Now look what look at what happened. This was a zone, okay? We shifted it. This is the easiest way. So I did instead of drawing different lines, lines, people will just scatter their charts with different lines and you know end up taking rubbish straight, okay? When it's just I then we all woke up today, okay. Price is here, let me just see what will happen later, okay? You leave the zone, just identify one or two in a chart, and that's okay, okay? Not to 
because you think that in bigger picture price supply and demand zone they're always respected okay so you just leave it keep adjusting adjusting now look at what happened uh -huh. this is now you know this is zone resistance price came down went up it's respected the zone just put a sell order here put stop loss a little bit above the zone price respected it okay one correct price came uh, this time price came to the zone sell put stop loss here price respected it just take and this is a four hour chart so just like close to a day trade close it now we see imagine we that's two trade correct till the save correct so imagine we take a sell here and put stop loss in the middle of the zone okay price broke out price broke the zone okay this time i'm not teaching you breakouts i'm not showing you zones okay price broke the zone okay price came back retest the zone went back okay price came here now look at now this resistance now i'm not on to support now look at can you see price came here retest the zone came back retest came back retest okay this video is not for approach i'm just trying to show new beast okay not that you draw lines different i just see people just come to meet me i'll see different lines well what was happening guys just okay let's say we sh keep shifting the zone okay we shifted it yeah now look at price broke it came back i'm not trying to trade breakout okay so at least for every 10 trade you get your profits will be your winning trade will be more than your losing trade okay just do this daily and it's okay let's do it to boom 500 it's okay this is a nice okay let's start here guys so we found a support level now i've told you is a zone so you keep the zone one two three one two three three touches okay now you when you see three touches identify this as a zone so this is a support zone now i've told you keep shifting it okay keep shifting as price move now this is boom okay for this time i'll be teaching you out you know i've been so this for okay price came guys broke it here so if you took a buy put stop loss let's see that okay hit your stop loss don't worry guys so it came up imagine it took the zone sold this losing trades recovered okay it came here it sold for now this is what i'm telling you don't be greedy okay this is a four hours chart close to a day so just when it came here it sold for like two four hours that's close to a day okay you will have frozen profits before it retests and now I want to show you guys that this is really these are a trade okay so keep shifting you can see price have been ragey ragey instead of filling your chart okay instead of filling your chart with different you see this is the easiest way this is the easiest way i advise newbies okay it's pro traders that can now identify different zone but for newbies okay just take a zone start from somewhere take a zone price will surely respect a zone this is how we trade guys I'm not supposed to review this to you, but I'm just reviewing you the easiest way. Okay, so keep identifying, keep price, keep at least for every 10 trade, seven will be correct because nobody can win 100%. Okay, at least for every 10 trade, it will be correct and it's okay. See, so now I even notice that it's taking like price of it's a zone for longer time. You can now end up to now delete it, then look for new one. Okay. If you see that two trades you target the zone it's failed two trade field just know that the zone is no longer valid okay look for in another zone now this crash five crash one thousand um let me see okay now this is a zone okay this is a zone this is a resistance zone i see three touches minimum one two three three touches okay so price respected it sealed so as price moves let me delete this as price moves keep shifting okay keep shifting now uh -huh. this is what i'm showing us now what what if, if some people said that you would take a sale okay nobody can be 100 percent accurate okay take a sale put stop loss in the middle or 
above the zone okay put stop loss here you sell now this for newbies okay so at least have a account you can at least with 100 dollar account use 0 0.2 okay let's say that this time one few where well, our bundle you know this what we call this is false breakout okay this is a false breakout but you know for newbies they might not think that they might not think that is a losing trade okay for pro traders this is not a losing trade this is a winning trade is a just a false breakout okay but for newbies you can call this a losing trade but for me i won't call this a losing trade it's just a false breakout this is why i call it false breakout you see price broke it retested it this make it very strong price retested it and went back so let's see that we keep moving 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 okay now see i think this is the zone yeah okay so price I think this is where the zone and uh -huh. so price came here retested it so let's say you entered you've recovered because these are four hours candle guys do you know <laughs> two candles that's like eight hours no three you know these are four hours is later i can now show you how to trade it in one hour 30 minutes but just for a start okay start with higher time frame now see that losing trade let's say you close the loss this trade recovered price came here it's you know this another winning trade okay i'm not like other trader that will just tell you guys that okay you win 100 percent no nobody win 100 percent it's just your the what makes someone a pro is if your winning trades are higher than your losing trades daily okay now i'm waiting for price to come down here and buy a bit before break down because it's coming from a strong resistance okay so i just want to tell you guys that just you know identify zones and you'll be successful in this guys so if you have any question if you're a newbie just join my free group if you see analysis just screenshot it and show me i'll guide you through it okay so thank you any question anything you don't understand just message me on my telegram whatsapp my details in description okay so i'll be i'll be making by next week i'll be dropping the lesson two so by next week i'll be dropping the lesson two the lesson two i'll be trading i cannot tell what we're trading over the video we're making next but just subscribe so that by next week when i drop the next video the next video will not be on support and resistance guys because it's a course okay so just master yourself on it because this is just a free course i can't show you the tricks towards it but if you want if you want to if you have if you want mentorship okay is at the affordable price okay i'll show you how i look at market how i trade support and resistance well different things to look out for and source like that so if you want to join my so you guys to subscribe for more videos